Frog, one of Vegas' finest players up against Riley, one of the winners of the Buzz's Wi-Fi tournaments. Let's get started. Yeah, Riley's been playing very, very well lately, uh, showing that outside of uh, Adamus, the other DD players can play really well at this level too. So that's, that's interesting to see at least. Definitely though, want to see how he uh, navigates this matchup. Honestly, I, outside of just getting comboed heavily, I don't know. If he can SDI well enough to just avoid dying off the top, I don't think it's too horrible for DD. Yeah. Of course, I'm saying that as he's just getting, you know, juggled for 134 already, <laughs> but. Being a tall hurt box, a big hurt box is really rough against Bayo. It's honestly where she accelerates only good for Frog to go for the double afterburner kick just because you know they can cancel that one because you hit Gordo, but also you're hitting Gordo back. Great play all around. Ooh. And that's what I'm talking about, man. If Bayo can rack up all the damage she wants, but if she doesn't get that kill, that Rage D needs that one straight hit. Yeah, that's, that's so true. Nice but on the witch twist, can you get the back air? Oh, oh on the Gordo! Hits. Both hits of the Gordo, dude. That was so unlucky for Frog. He just wanted to edge guard. Instead, he took like 20% almost. Up air? No, goes nice. for the back air. Good play, good play. I'm sorry. Forget, up air doesn't really kill. It's back air that does. I don't think I've ever seen up air kill. I was used to it in Smash <laughs> 4. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, obviously, I need this game. Nice. Run up, with the run up Witch Twist here, definitely catching Riley going for her and not a shield and Aaron option. Just gotta watch out on the landing here. Riley's got his feet on the ground. One up smash there from King DDD. Any, any good read at this point here. Sends Bayo flying. Nice. Yeah, I really like uh, Riley's timing on his upbeat to avoid uh, getting wish switched off stage. There he is again. He does a, he does a delayed upbeat mm. and then also times his armor if he does get hit. Yeah. So he can get the ledge safely. It's really nice. Good for Frog to go for down tilt and not back air, just sensing how his positioning was against Riley, but the back throw from DD will be enough here. Riley at 105, you talked about his strides, man. If you're not getting these stocks off DD as soon as possible, that rage plays a huge factor in the fact that he's also one of the heaviest characters in the game. Yeah. He's even fine taking the forward air ender there, because it's not high enough in the last one for him to die to that, but that's probably the most consistent way Bale can kill with their upsell back there. Good oh, for Frog, yeah. That okay, was good. Riley that was good. is yeah. like the jet hammer, like, he wants that jet hammer, like, last stock play almost every time. I think really? he's only hit one jet hammer this whole time I've seen him on stream, but... Oh, God. The, how do you get called out that hard? What? <laughs> Damn. But on a, look at the way that Riley, right? look at look at the way that Riley's playing, right? You see that you'll you'll see Frog go for something like go for something like side special, right? Where it's usually Bale's opportunity to confirm into which twist and then go for air combos. But we even saw Riley adapt from that. Go for inhale, punish Bale in that in that manner. You can see that Riley understands like, okay, you know what? As long as I'm whiff punishing or if I'm punishing side special, dash attack, afterburner kick. Bayo has a really difficult time trying to get in because those are usually her bread and butter moves that allow her to actually get the burst damage that she's known for getting. Once you stop yeah. that, it's really hard for her, especially in especially more in ultimate than four. Yeah, um, honestly, Frog's only consistent ways to kill Didi so far has been the up tilt back air. Yeah, he just hasn't been able to just convert huge combos into kills really. And that's, I think that's just really been uh, making it a big struggle for him. Frog, no! Opinion. Outside of just SDing after dealing 119 to DD, basically untouched. Riley will eat that, eat that up. He'll, he'll, give, he'll give you any free you can give him at this point. And uh, man, with how much I was struggling to kill, this could be really bad for him. Yeah. I, I can see him taking like 80% before he takes the stock from DD right now. Or even potentially dying. I mean, you gotta rage DD, man. If he traps Bayo on the landing like Riley's been looking forward to, 
You could definitely have a huge three stock lead. And like I said, oh my god, he reads the landing back to the stage. Okay. There's another up tilt back here, but still, he's already dropped two stocks. And that up smash, like, man, it's killing Bale really early. I don't even think he was at 100 that time. No. Just rage. Just pure rage from DDD, but also just getting the read on the landing. And that's the thing about Bayo, too. He's got to be careful with the landing options. But finally, sliding kick here to the full Witch Twist. Is this enough? Fuck, I didn't even get all the full confirms, but he's able to come back on stage at least. Oh, try to get a landing trap with a down smash. Like the idea. Didn't connect yet, but very, very close. Nice. Using a multi jumps to avoid the up smash. Still living, man. Didi. Super heavy. But this wish twist sends me an awkward trajectory. Oh. oh good for oh. good for Riley to understand how yeah. that was gonna work, yeah. That was really good, uh, to cancel his up B like that to get to the ledge. I actually thought uh Frog was gonna witch time him as he was going to the ledge there, but he didn't go for it. And I think that's what okay. Frog was kind of hoping to do here. Riley looking for an opportunity to lose line here. This could be Frog's first game to get. Yeah, this is really good percent for him. Oh, nice. Wow. I don't know if he meant to F tilt the Gordo back in his face like that, but it was really good for him to do that there. It's oh, really nice. Good off the top here. No, not off the oh, top no. yet. That was good DI. He didn't get hit by all the hits of the floor there, so it was fine. Ooh, what a call out for, he called Frog for going for an out of shield option. This is the fourth throw. Frog holds stage control here. Can he get the back air and up tilt back air? Can he Almost find a read here? Up tilt oh, back? Missed. No. No. It's out of the window. Okay, okay he's still we're living though. Uh oh, the Gordo's in a bad spot for him. Okay. Oh, he's Man. going for the cancel where he can go for up. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, he's going yeah. for the cancel where he can up tilt it. Nice, nice. Oh, he's living! Oh, no! <laughs> Unfortunately for Frog! Okay, he's finally dead. <laughs> Jesus. Man. I didn't know that Nair was actually going to kill there either. Me, baby. Yeah. That was crazy. Honestly, it's Man, That was actually to... very crazy. Can Frog you had to just... He had to throw out so many moves hoping they would kill. And if any of them failed to kill or just put him in a bad spot, he would have died. <laughs> That's so true. You know what's wild is that the fact that if you were to take a time machine, travel all the way back to the past in Smash 4 and tell people Bayo would have a hard time killing King Dedede, I would laugh at you. Yeah, I know, but right? here we are. But here we are. Three, two, one, go! This seems like an all PS2 type set. This is the vibe I get right now. <laughs> Definitely on the LPS2 vibe for sure. Nice, nice combos for Frog right now. Yeah, Riley has good DI on the forward air, and also you know, DD's really heavy, so he's not gonna dive very consistently to that combo off the top. It is really good percent though. I feel like for Frog, he he wants to take that uh, that combo and that damage, and then try to just reset the, on the ground. Maybe get a kill that way after he gets all the percent. Good for Frog. We're gonna see if we can. Oh no! Oh. The roll. Actually, I think. Hmm. Oh, never mind. What a come out. Damn that dash attack! How many dash attacks the legends Riley got, and how many up tilt back airs has Frog got? It's such a big lasting hitbox and it has a small startup animation that's really good to just catch somebody at the ledge. And it's the way that Riley sets it up. He covers it with Gordo. So you're kind of like forced to pick one of those options. What do you want to get hit by? Gordo or Dash Attack? And at that high percent, it's pretty much curtains. Frog with the cross up after the after, but he did excellent play. Look at this burst damage he's getting in now. 26. Yeah, I like the, I like the Nair Ender there. Just to see if you can push DD at the ledge. He's getting hit by the force smash a lot, but luckily for a frog, he's not getting hit by the sweet spot. It's like barely, barely avoiding it. Yeah. I think the sweet spot would be enough to kill Bale. The sweet spot is, yeah, definitely enough to kill Bale, but also, like, look at the way that frog gets hit by force smash. That's such a big hitbox that it actually hits even behind King Deity. A lot of times I've seen frog get caught by that. Here's the afterburner kick. Using the jump to safely land as a back throw punish? Yep. Yeah. 
Man, Frog reacted to that dash attack with Witch Time, you probably would have got a kill from that. Speaking of which, oh, <laughs> yeah, right nice before you catch. can land. Yeah, Riley's been doing that uh, cancel the B to the ledge, but you're definitely vulnerable when you go into free fall like that. Nice backer though. Got out of the combo, snuck in the aerial of his own. Gotta say, I'm very impressed with Riley's SDI with a big character like DDD. That's a big call really to the Gordo here. Take this man all around the stage, man. He just showed him outside the door, and now he's back home base. Mm. Okay, gets a great cross up into the Witch Swiss. This is a big really lead for Frog. Keeping DD juggled as long as possible. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the Gordo, though. I, I respect that from Frog. He took the Gordo hit because he didn't want to panic. Yeah, he did get hit by the Gordo, but luckily he didn't lead to anything too punishing, and there's that up tilt back here. Another yep. one from Frog. Now, I'm glad that he knows how to hit that consistently, because otherwise, man, Bale would be super struggling to kill this character right now. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. But like you said, man, Frog definitely hitting the up tilt back air is so good, but also good for Frog to, like, kind of pick and choose. Is it better to land on the stage, get hit by King Diddy himself, or... Do I just take the Gordo here and go for a landing, which is still canon? That definitely paid off ultimately for Frog, putting up a 2-1. And looking at the chat predictions really quick. 58% for Frog with 25k uh, 25k points. 42% for Riley with 18k points on the line, man. See if this is going to go to game 5 or this is it for Riley's run. One, go. Yeah. I don't know. Like, just, just, just judging by the predictions, um. Very even for both these players. Chats seems pretty uh back and forth on who they think will win this. Honestly, Ooh, oh big. my goodness. Yeah. Huge zero to death from Frog. I love the delayed four air too. Ooh, to yeah. see if uh Riley would do anything like defensive in the blast zone, just wait it out, and then just finish him off with the four air, the last hit at the end. That was actually so good. Yeah. If the, the, like we said, strike that little bit of delay that was just enough to hit Riley off the ledge and then get this big lead. So off the stay off, off to the blast zone. Right, nice. Frog. That's actually the that's like the perfect lead that Frog needs in this uh, potential last game here because he's yeah. just been behind a lot of times. And I think now that he doesn't have to really approach DDD, like he's gonna get a lot more really good punches, but. What a reversal. Falling out of that ABK. Riley's gonna find that. Oh, the change up this time. Going for the up air into the back air from the up tilt this time. That was actually really nice. I didn't even know you could do that at that percent. I thought you had to always go for back air. Yeah, same. What, a, what an interesting mix up from Frog. He went on the shield, saved the jump, and then he went for a wedge twist. To try to see if he can catch out Riley there. Interesting choice. Yeah, Riley, he's getting, he's getting beat up pretty bad right now. Nice wish twist. He's actually timing his wish twist very well as like anti airs to catch Riley trying to land on top of him. Back air? Mm, missed, nearly missing it there. Whiff grab. Big for Riley. Looking for that big, powerful hammer swing. Not enough. Yeah, no jet hammers for Riley. He really wants it to connect, but yeah, these, a lot of these players are just waiting for that move to end and then they'll approach from there. Nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was so, so smart. Good. That was yeah. so smart. He was like, yeah, yeah, he used a double up tilt to like bait him to land there, and then he up smashed him. That was really smart from Frog. And that's why Riley's out of this tournament now. 3-1, Frog. Continuing uh, his run in the tournament. He actually got top eight last week, too, so 